guys, so today I am going to be talking to you, I'm super excited, if you cannot tell, about my all-time, well first, a haul. So I have not done a haul on this channel, or like at all, in like so long. Granted, I've hauled things, um, but I really haven't sat down and done like a try-on haul. Um, and then also, you know, I'm so excited for spring. I don't know, it's, it's getting warmer here in Dallas. And we don't really have a brutal winter, but we did have a weird snowstorm this year. So I am so excited for spring. I'm fully embracing it. As soon as the snowstorm happened, I was like, I need all the summer clothes, all the spring summer clothes. Like give me all the spring dresses, give me just everything. So I wanted to share with you all the things that I've picked up. And then I also want to just talk about my staple spring, like, pieces this year whether it's stuff that I've collectively gotten but I'm excited for spring or if it's stuff that I've just had forever that I bust out every spring that you can still get your hands on and I think are just awesome staple pieces for the spring so I'm super excited for you guys so we're just gonna dive right on in we're gonna start with beauty products I'm gonna start with all of the things that I recently picked up so I did a Target haul and I just picked up a couple random things and the first one is lotion. I know super random, but I don't know if you guys struggle with this. I love lotion, especially if I like, you know, just sunless tanned and I feel a little bit dry. Um, I just shaved and I want moisture to my legs, but I hate, there's nothing worse than putting on lotion and then going outside and the humidity just makes you feel like you're wearing like an insulated sweatsuit. It's disgusting. So when I saw this, I actually saw like commercials for it. It suckered me in, obviously, marketing. Um, it's called the Nivea Breathable Nourishing Body Lotion. I haven't like physically tried it. Like I've pumped it and felt it on my skin and it does feel like it does not sit on my skin, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and I hope that it works and is everything that I want it to be. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried it yet. I think it's it's obviously new. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments if you've tried it before. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I love, love, love lotion, but hate the way it makes me feel. So that's the first thing. Second thing is also another lotion and I got this from QVC and I was influenced by all of the influencers. <laughs> on Instagram that talked about how amazing this stuff is. I've used the tanning drops and I love the tanning drops, um, but this is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Butter. And what I thought would be nice about this is because like, maybe you don't wanna jump right in with sunless tanner in the spring, which I, I do because I'm all about it and I'll show you my favorite in just a minute. But maybe you want something a little more subtle or you know, doesn't look like you've just spent a month in, in Mexico, like, I don't know. Or just want like a subtle like, um, maintenance with it i don't know i just am excited to try this i haven't even like tested out the consistency or anything yet um let's see here open i don't want to like obviously stay in my hands but i want to see what color it is if it's clear or has like a tint to it okay so it's not clear but it's like white so it doesn't have a tint to it oh but it has a, like a sheen to it you probably can't see that smells good smells fresh yeah. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm going to go wash my hands though really quick now because I do not want this hand to be all tan. So I have, like I said, I have not tried this yet, but I'm excited about it and I heard all the rage. It only comes in one color, Hello Golden Glow. So I will keep you guys posted on what I think about this, okay. but we're back. So hopefully my hand doesn't stain. Even if you're using a gradual lotion, you still want to make sure you wash your hands. So super excited about this. And you can always amp it up with the tanning drops if you want more of like a more intense glow. But anyways, I'm really excited about it. I Like I said, I'll keep you guys posted on it. And then two other things um, are nail polishes. So I wanted to find a dupe for my OPI Let's Be Friends, which was the Hello Kitty collection um, color. And that's what's on my nails now, except for this nail is this color. So this is Sally Henson's gel Miracle, or Miracle Gel in the color Little Peony. So I'm really excited that I found a really good um, dupe for it because they just don't sell it anymore. Not even on Amazon, I can't find it anywhere, which I'm really bummed because it's almost like white, but it's an opaque, really nice pink. So I do have it on this finger, but I don't know how the wear time is and all that good stuff, so I will keep you up to date with that and see 
this truly is a dupe I'm excited I just painted over so I know it's the right color I just don't know what the opacity is by itself it looks like it's got a really good opacity and then I also don't know what the wear time looks like because I've never tried any of the Sally Hansen gel polishes before and then you guys I found this I am not normally a sparkly glitter sort of nail polish girl but this is just super cute so this is Sally Hansen insta dry in the collection with Mentos so it's got this like rainbow glitter oh who am I I feel like such a uh such an influencer or such an old school youtuber when you hold your hand up but it's so freaking cool i don't know i did try it on this little um ring finger over here but it's just glitter suspended in like a clear polish um i don't know it just screamed spring to me and i just think it looks really pretty over this bubblegum pink so i don't know i wasn't able to find it i found mine at target i wasn't able to link it for you at target but i was able to find it at I believe walgreens so go to your local target or grab it at walgreens um, but it's limited edition, so I would assume that it's not going to be around for very long, but it's so unique. You normally see like silver or gold glitter suspended in clear, but never like a rainbow fun like that in a pastel color. So super excited. Um, that's all that I have. Well, that's, yeah, that's all that I have for new beauty products that I picked up. But I want to talk about some of my favorite staples that I just continue to use. Um, and we'll also just continue with the nail polish trend. So this is, um, Zoya Blue. If I'm not wearing this bright pink, I'm wearing this. I have my staple colors. I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while. I used to have an insane nail polish collection and I gave it up when I moved to Japan and I stuck with a light blue and a light pink during the summer and then during the fall and winter, I do like a dark blue, a dark green, and like a maroony sort of color. Those are my staples. Um, so this is my favorite light blue. I've tried so many of them. I just love this one. You can get it on Amazon. I don't know where else you can purchase Zoya. Like I can't find it at any of my um, local stores. So this one's just really good. I do have to repurchase it every so often because it does get a little goopy, but it's really nice opaque. You can actually do it in one coat, but I always just do two. But this is like my staple blue. So if you're looking for a really nice baby blue color, check that one out. Um, Speaking of tanning products, I wanted to talk about my favorite tan of all time, not sponsored. I think everyone loves this stuff, but this is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in the color dark. Um, I've used the extra dark before, but the 2 Hour Express only comes in dark for me anyways. It's what I've been able to find, and I just really love this stuff, you guys. It doesn't patch off weird on me. It's so like seamless, easy to apply. I'm obsessed with it, so if you guys are looking for a good tan, it's pricey, but it's so worth it. Um, I get mine at Ulta just so I don't have to pay for shipping and stuff over online. Um, I just pick mine up at the local Ulta. And then what else I got? Oh, I've talked about this in a recent vlog, I want to say, but this is my favorite tinted sunscreen for the summer. So this is the Elta MD. I actually got this as like a sample when I went to my dermatologist. I had to have a mole removed on my neck. <laughs> Fun facts. Um, when I was pregnant, I don't know what, what it was, but it was like growing. So I had to get that removed. But anyhow, she gave me this. <laughs> so this is the um, facial sunscreen. Uh, like I said, UV clear. I don't know, but it's tinted. It's got like a nice little color to it. So I really like putting this on. It kind of just makes everything smooth. It's nothing like, it's not a tinted moisturizer by any means. It's very, very sheer coverage, but it's just enough to kind of give you a glow. So I really love this and it's SPF 46 and it's a physical sunscreen. So it really helps with hyperpigmentation and all that stuff, which is something that I struggle with. So highly recommend that guy. My favorite fragrance for the springtime is the Mew Mew Twist. You guys, I don't know what it is. It's very warm and vanilla but floral but it also has like a masculine sort of smell to it it's not so fruity and floral that it makes you sick like it's got a depth to it which i love like you could also wear this out at night i don't know it's really good i love it i feel like Mew Mew fragrances are super underrated um but i love this you guys so that's that. If you can see, I've used a decent amount of it, so I'm excited to break it back out for summer and spring. Uh, and then a lip product that I love really all year round, but I especially love it during the spring um, because it's just like, like a, it enhances your lips. So that's exactly what it's called. It's called the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. So it kind of just, I don't know, makes your lips nicer, 
than what they really are like a color it kind of tints them a little but it's not it's I don't know how to explain it but it's got like a pinkyish hue to it but it basically just enhances your lips it's glossy I don't love the taste of it because it's kind of got floral but it's not sticky and it stays on your lips that's one thing I really like I feel like a lot of glosses either like are super sticky but stay a long time or they're just like super runny and like I don't know I eat them off or <laughs> Or they just like disintegrate into my or absorb into my lips. But this one just kind of like feels like butter. Like you have Crisco on your lips. But in a good way. So highly recommend this guy. Let's get into fashion things. So I did just pick up um, most of the stuff is going to be um, new stuff. So again, I'll, I'll link everything down below. Uh, I picked up necklaces at Target. I am not a necklace girl. I just have never been a necklace girl. I've always worn, I mean, probably since I started doing videos, you guys, I've had these earrings. Um, this ring I've had for a couple years now, but I've always had a ring that I've worn on this finger. If you guys have an old throwback moment. I had like this, um, seashell and silver necklace or ring that I used to always wear on this finger but anyways this one and then now I have my ring and a watch that's basically all I've ever worn I never wore necklaces I did go through that phase with the chunky necklace but that's over but now layering necklaces gold and gold has never been my thing um but necklace layers and all that has been super in and I just I want to get into it so I started picking up some pieces and I'm really, really excited. So I went over to Target because I feel like Target's just a good way to see. And I feel like a lot of jewelry you can get online can just look nice in pictures but feel really cheap when you get it. And these two pieces do not. So this first one is by A New Day. Um, and it's one of those like clothes or what do you call this? Um, paper clip. Paper clip style necklaces. It's really nice and dainty perfect piece for layering the quality is really nice and it was like 13 bucks you guys I really really like this one that one's my favorite and then I did pick up this more statementy sort of piece um this one is by sugar fix by bobble bar or is sugar fix by bobble bar and I remember when bobble bar like blew up all over YouTube like years ago um but this one was $25 a little bit nicer um it's nickel free I don't know what the other one is but I really like this one it's got a really good weight to it does not feel cheapy at all and it's just a fun little layering piece so there are two things I just recently picked up at Target um let's move on to Amazon um accessories and then I will get into some clothes. So I recently, I'm wearing it right now, jewelry, um, picked up a nicer band for my watch. So this one is like, if you remember the old Michael Kors days, it gives me similar vibes to Michael Kors, like chunky dad watches, which I loved. They had their moment, but I feel like I've just always liked a bigger watch band. I've never been a very like small dainty watch band kind of girl and my apple watches are oh or the bands are always a little bit thicker so i think this made a nice transition so this is gold and silver and i got this on purpose so that i could layer gold with silver so i really like the quality of this this was so easy to size you guys it came with like a tool so it's called the fit link um this is the brand of it i'll link it down below like i said uh but i really like it it totally just amplifies my amps up dresses up my apple watch i can't take this thing off i'm addicted to it like if i don't have it on i feel like did i even work out that day like does does life even matter are all those calories i burned do they really mean anything i don't know probably psychotic but regardless i probably have an unhealthy relationship with my apple watch can you see winnie in the background um but i love this new band so definitely check it out if you're looking for more of a dressy one and this one quality wise it was really really nice um and then i picked up a pair of sunglasses so i've been seeing all over they like really target me uh on instagram ads the crew i believe it's k-r-e-w sunglasses and they had a pop-up in dallas but i just was like not like feeling like i loved them enough to spend 200 dollars on them they're very very unique they're very like sassy so i went on the hunt on amazon to try to find a dupe for them and I think I found a really good dupe and I'm really glad I didn't spend the $200 on them only because they're just not an everyday sunglasses for me they're very dramatic so let me show you what they look like on so hopefully you can see they've got like the gold detail the the nose bridge is just very extra for me but they're cute they're great statement pieces I love them they've got like a dark um, like a gray and black tortoise on them 
they're just not my everyday sunglasses. So I think I got these for like less than 20 bucks. So, oh, legs falling asleep. So anyways, definitely, definitely if you were like hunting down crew sunglasses and wanted a good like dupe for them, these are a good one. I love them. And I believe that they are, these are called Wear Me Pro. Yeah, they're, I don't think they're polarized, but oh well. But the details are really nice on them. They have like little metal. They're just cute. I'm really excited that I got them and didn't pay an arm and a leg for them. And then my next um, like accessory favorite from Amazon, and if you cannot tell, I've been wearing the heck out of these in most of my vlogs. Um, so it's what I'm wearing right now, these headbands. So I got this giant kit of them on Amazon for a really good deal. And I feel like they just girlify any outfit and make like a very plain outfit really fun. I don't know, I, I just love a headband. I feel like it's just a nice way to like, A, keep my hair out of my face because I'm a hair toucher as so many people like to point out, I touch my hair a lot. I know I do, I don't know why, it's just something that I do. And I've been rocking the middle part a whole lot more just because I like it on me, I think it suits my face. So the headband has been really cute. You can wear it multiple different ways. You can wear it with a bun, you can wear it like this. You can obviously wear it all the way back and not show your part, but anyways, these have been my go-to. These are just such good quality. Um, I love that you get a variety pack and you can mix and match with all your different outfits, but yeah. I love these you guys so these will be listed down below if you've not picked these up i highly recommend even like jeans a white t-shirt in one of these and you you instantly look super cute and put together so power of a headband don't underestimate it so i think oh the last accessory that i want to show you and then we'll get into clothes um oh we have shoes still too sorry this bag i've had this bag for oh my god almost two years now this is the snapshot camera bag hopefully they still have this you guys this is by mark jacobs i purchased this while i was in california before i moved back to dallas and i love this bag i use it every single day it's such a nice piece the quality is really nice it's got the right amount of size and it. it's just got this front pocket in a back pocket i love the color detail so it's got like this, this kelly green with gold this tan and then on the bottom it's like navy blue and then on the strap it's so fun and you can interchange these straps so if you don't like the strap you can always get a different one this one's got like an orange black and silver i just think this is such a fun piece especially when i'm wearing like all black or white or whatever this is just a fun fun piece to like pop with it the size is great the quality is great and i feel like extra like I love it extra more. I love it even more during like the spring um, because it's like that fun pop of color. So if you're looking for a nice, I still love side saddle bags. And you can also wear this as kind of like a, what do you call it, like a boy bag? Or like a cross, like a saddle bag? I don't know, you can tighten the straps so it can go like up here more if you like that sort of look or even like a fanny pack sort of look. There's This is just so versatile, this bag is, and I just, I'm obsessed with it. So, yes. Okay, one more category before we get into clothes are shoes. None of these shoes are really new. Um, two of these shoes I got this Christmassy time, so I'll show you those first. Um, my Nike, uh, what are these? Airs 270, 270 Airs? Air 270, I think, I don't know. They're cute, they're dirty probably. <laughs> so these are the all white ones. I got these um, for my birthday. Yeah, Scott got these for my birthday. They're dirty at the bottom. <laughs> these are my favorite gym sneakers. I love these things. They're so freaking cute. They're so slender on your foot. Like they just make your foot look so slender and you look tall because you have this pump in the back. Um, these are the actually the big kid sizes, so I will leave this one listed down below with the big kid sizes, but they also have other colors in the adults, just not the full whites, but they have like a tan pair that's really cute and I almost got them. Um, and then they have like black with, or white with black, black with white. I don't know, these sneakers are just super flattering. Right. And, and these ones I just got for Christmas, they're the Alex Arigatos. Um, and I thought these were Japanese, they're not, they're like Italian, but either way, they're amazing so um these are just like okay 
So I've wanted a pair of Golden Goose sneakers forever and I just like can't bite the bullet and spend that kind of money on a pair of sneakers. I just feel like, I don't know. And I haven't found a pair that I love so much and would go with everything. And then I found these, these like popped up on my Instagram because you know, Instagram just gets you. And I showed Scott them and I really like them. I just feel like they're very clean. They're very simple, but I love all the different stuff they have going on for being very plain and simple. And they're neutral enough to wear with just about everything. So. First of all, love these like tan, like cream leather. So pretty, it's so nice. And then it's got suede tip at the toe. It's got orange little, like these little thingies. Uh, and then a cow toe, a cow fur little like tongue. And then the green in the back. These are the, I don't know, 140 mm's. I don't know, like I said, I'll list them down below. They come in a million different colorways. They come in all whites. I just think they're such a nice structured sneaker and they're really pretty with sundresses. They're pretty with jeans. They're pretty with shorts. They're just a really flattering sneaker and built really, really well. So, so excited to wear these for spring. I've worn them already, but so excited to wear them specifically for spring. And then my two staple shoes that I pretty much um, I mean, I've had these, I've had these Birkenstocks, you guys, for like four years, five years now. I just can't get past them. They look good with everything. I, I don't know if Birkenstocks have gone out of style, but I still love that. I thought they were super ugly when I first saw them, but I just feel like they go with everything. They've got that vibe of like, with a sundress, you're casual, you're cool. With shorts, like throw it on, go to the beach. I just, I love them. These, this is like the neutral suede sort of color and I've just worn the heck out of them. Don't plan to ever stop wearing the heck out of them. So perfect classic sandal that goes with everything. Dress it up, dress it down. Well, you don't really dress it up, but you wear jeans, shorts, dresses. That's what I mean. I love them for everything. Okay, these sneakers I purchased a couple years ago now and I've loved them. They just make me happy when I wear them. I wore these to my gender reveal party and they, made, they just make me happy. So they're by the brand Saludos, which normally make those like um, what do I want to call them? Wedges? I don't know. Or those like, not wedges. I can't think of the name of them, but basically they don't normally make sneakers, but I saw these on my Instagram one day, of course, and I fell in love with them because they have this beautiful rainbow. They say good. And the other one says vibes in this like really cool stitching. And then they've got the little sunshine on them. So no matter where you're looking at the shoe, you're seeing something different and totally fun and exciting. And they just remind me of being a little kid, but the quality is really nice. It's got like a really nice soft leather. Kind of reminds me of like an upgraded Keds sort of thing. Um, they're so comfortable. So this is the, I guess it's like a thing. I don't know, or like a collab, but they still have them available. And if you're looking for just like a fun pair of sneakers, you're not like a heels or wedge sort of girl, but you're like, you know, want a cute pair to like wear matching sets or wear with like plain outfits. These are just so fun and so cool for <clears throat> the spring summertime. I love these. So um, I wanted to share you share these with you guys because I just feel like they're just so unique and I've got so many different fun designs, but these ones really stood out to me. Um, and that is it for shoes. Now let's get into all of my newness that I've recently purchased for clothes for spring and summer. Um, let's start with shorts because I needed to do, I needed new shorts. I um, recently had a baby last spring and some of my shorts just, they just aren't fitting. And to be honest with you, I really haven't purchased a new pair of shorts. I don't think I purchased new shorts at all last year. And I wanna say the year before I maybe purchased like one new pair. And trends have changed and just my style, what I'm comfortable in, especially with having a kid, has just changed. So I went on Abercrombie because you guys, I just can't beat it. I love their denim. I love everything they do. And if you haven't checked them out in a really long time, I highly, highly recommend you just check them out again. They're coming out with new stuff. One thing I will say is their quality is just bar none. They have the best quality and they're starting to come out with more fashion pieces, more sizes, more like variety and their stuff sells out so freaking quick. So if you like these shorts, don't walk, run. I think some sizes are already sold out, but they do restock. So First pair is my favorite. This is the um, four inch, which I loved, <laughs> mom short, and that is exactly what I am, high rise. And I bumped up to a 26 in these. Um, I wanted them to be a little bit, not tight, 
but also like I just my hips have gotten bigger and all that so I used to be like between a 25 24 and they're shorts and now I'm a 26 and that is totally cool and these are comfortable and I love they scream just like comfort casual chic mom vibes um I love the distressing on them it's mild I love the color and these got the perfect amount of stretch in them but they don't look super stretchy which I like so I love these I love that they are big pockets in the back no details nothing like that on them and Abercrombie just does their shorts right and I believe right now they have a 20% off sale so um, like I said take advantage of it if you can or if you need some new pair of shorts and then I got the oh I guess Oh yeah, that's just the basic. And then I got the four inch mom short high rise in the curve love, which is supposed to enhance the curves. And to be honest with you, I don't have many curves, which is why I don't think these fit me the best. Um, so I'll show you guys them on, but I got again, the 26 in these. I just feel like there's a little bit of gapping in the legs and in the butt because I'm not super curlicious, but I still really like them. They're a relaxed fit. They're less distressing and they're a darker wash. So these are really nice as well. Um, and I'm thinking about picking at least one more other pair of shorts up, but I do have some shorts that still fit me from them that I really but yeah, gone are the days of those short shorts. They just don't, they don't do anything for me anymore. And I'm happy that this is like a trend, but I also feel like this is just my new fashion. So I've always liked more modest clothes. I've never been a very like showy sort of person when it comes to my clothing. But anywho, those are my new favorite shorts. Super excited I just picked them up. And then you guys, I purchased a couple of orders from Everlane, which I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys the pieces in the vlog, but I wanted to share with you um, them again in this collective haul because they're great for spring and they're still on the site and some of them are on sale So this is honestly, I think it's called the summer jean. It is the summer jean I got this again in a 26. These are just so cute and flattering and I literally feel like these feel like sweatpants to me They're so comfortable so soft they're just, they scream summer to me. They're so lightweight and the denim is so bright blue and the cut on the knees are perfect and the cuff. I just, I love these. And I was also on the hunt for new jeans and things because again, my body has changed. My style's changed a bit. So I'm um, really happy I found those. I love Everlane's jeans. Um, I like a lot of stuff that they do, to be honest with you. Okay, so sticking with Everlane, I wanted to show you the other two pieces that I bought and I'm obsessed with for spring. So the first one is this, which I didn't realize it's actually like a silk blouse. It doesn't feel very silky, so it's strange. Yeah, it doesn't feel silky, but it's really nice. I love the flow of this. I love the structure. I love the color. And while I've been wanting to link this, I feel like it's sold out sometimes, it's not sold out. But they always have the same style of this, but they actually have this specific color on the site now. Hopefully it's still up when I post this. Um, but if not, they have a bunch of other colors. The black and white one looked really pretty. I love the block detail on this. I just think it's a basic. I love a t-shirt button down. I think they're really flattering with jeans or shorts. Um, just an understated, really casual, chill vibe. I like it. So love the quality of this and really just excited to rock this during the springtime. The other piece that I purchased was this kind of like linen top. Oh, and every all the sizes and everything that I got will be listed down below as well. The I just can't beat a white blouse. This is a little off-white. It's not like a pure white. I think this just has a really nice classic feel to it. So you can wear it with dark skinner jeans, dark skinny jeans with a pair of wedges or something like that, or you can dress it down with shorts and sneakers or flip-flops, whatever. It's just a really nice classic piece. And I, I don't know, I love these sort of tunicky tops, especially in white for spring, summer, all that good stuff. Um, the next place that I want to talk, or this next piece and set that I want to talk about is from Princess Polly. I did find a dupe on Amazon for like a quarter of the price, you guys, crazy. I can't speak to the quality because obviously I didn't, I didn't purchase mine from there. Um, but this one, I love this green and I think this green is like a sagey green. I think it's the, the color of this year. So I got this in the extra small, small, but I just love this lounge set. I love the sleeves and it's like a thick, heavy sweater. So it's perfect for spring transitional piece. It's cropped, so um, it gives you that warmish vibe, but it's also like a thick sweater, so it gives you cozy. This is just 
a nice piece that I would actually wear like out and about, get coffee, grab brunch, something like that, run to the store really quick. Um, I mean, I'm not like, you know, living my whole day out. So, yeah. These are the matching shorts. But like I said, I did snag this on Princess Polly and they always have some pretty good deals going on. So check it out if they have a good deal. But if not, I believe this set on Amazon is, is like half the price, something like that. So love this cute matching set. Love the color. I think it screams springtime. Um, and then ooh, 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 let's get into Zara. Um, I recently have done a decent amount of shopping at Zara, but two pieces that screamed spring and summer to me um, is this first top. It is this like tan bodysuit sort of material, but it's just a tank. It's so flattering. I love this. It's a very square boat neck. Comes in a million different colors. I also have it in black. But specifically, this um, tan just screamed spring for me. I think it's a great layering piece with jackets, denim jackets, leather jacket, whatever it may be. Um, I think it's a great, um, a great staple. And then this white blouse, which I, if you guys remember in a vlog, I was like, do I keep it? Do I not? I love it. I ended up styling it. And I thought it was really cute. And I love the open like airiness, flowiness of it. And I think it's just going to get better with time. It's a little stiff still, um, but I think it's only going to get better with time, especially when I wash it and it kind of gets softer and nicer. But I think it's just a really cool piece. You can dress it up, dress it down. I dressed it down, obviously, but you can dress it up with like heels, leather pants, whatever you want. But I just think it's cute. It's a classic, classic piece. And if I can find that, I will list that down below. And then two, 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 two. let's get in to my favorite thing. This is not sponsored. I wish they would sponsor me because I love their stuff. Petal and Pup, you guys. I remember talking to you guys about this on Instagram and being like, have you guys tried, or not on Instagram, because I've seen them on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram. Um, but I was like, have you guys tried Petal and Pup? What are your thoughts on it? Like, do you like it? Is the quality good? Because their prices are pricey. One thing um, I will notice is a lot of the Australian retailers have, well, I feel like that's with every retailer. They have a lot of similar styles on different sites. Um, and so specifically what I liked about Petal and Pup is they have a good, um, like you actually get your money back if you don't like the quality of their clothes. So that was like, okay, no, you know, I'll, I'll give it a go. And I was able to get a discount code from somebody on Instagram. So I saved, I want to say 20 or 15% on their stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And hopefully, um, I reached out to them to see if they would get me a discount code. And if they do, I will list down below. Um, but I love their stuff, you guys. It's just so me, it's so spring. So this first dress is me in a dress. I love it, everything about it. It's this sage green, which I, I swear is this the color this summer or this spring. It's just so freaking pretty. I love the fit of this. It just, I would say this is probably my most like, feels like me, I'm so comfortable. I'm gonna be confident in this dress. Um, dress, it's lightweight, it's flowy, it's pretty. Oh, I, I just love it. The quality is really nice. The buttons are like wood, so they don't all match, but they're nice. I love them. Even with like sneakers or sandals, my Birkenstocks, whatever this, I'm going to live in that. I honestly am going to live in it. It was a bit pricier than I felt like a dress should be, but honestly, with how much wear I'm going to get out of it, I know I'm, I'm going to get a ton of wear out of it. Yeah, I just knew it was going to be one of those pieces that I just never took off, so it's worth the investment. This next piece is a little risque for me you guys it's real risque for me but I just felt like it's so pretty oh I love this like pinky red sort of color so obviously you can see it much better in the try on than you can of what I'm seeing showing right now I got everything in a US 4 which is an Australian 8 by the way of dresses um, or a small medium whatever it is this is just so lightweight. It's flowy, it's flattering, it's very booby, <laughs> it's very booby, um, but it's so freaking pretty and flattering and the quality is really, really good. It's thin, but thin in a good way, if that makes sense. You don't want this thick, you want it to be airy and flowy and breathy and oh, I love it. I just feel like a bombshell in that thing. So I love that dress. Oh, so cute. My last, oh no, not the last dress. Another dress that I got, this one's very me as well. At first when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's so basic. But then I tried it on and the sleeves that flutter are so flattering because they just kind of like go off and give the illusion of kind of like a padded shoulder sort of thing, but not. And it's, it's really nice. Like, 
I don't know. You can find stuff like this like at Forever 21 and H&M, but the quality is just not as good and you feel like when you wash it, it's just gonna fall apart. That's not the case with this. Like I honestly feel like it's gonna hold up. It has a zipper detail to get in and out of as well on this side. I just feel like the quality of this is really nice. And again, just like a really cute and flattering piece. And then to go with that specifically, but just in general, I wanted more of an oversized denim jacket. I loved the blue on this. I got this in a size six. Um, this, or no, oh, well it says 10, but I think it's an Australian 10, a US 6, but I wanted this oversized. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the buttons jingle a lot, but <laughs> that's not a big deal. But I love the quality of this. It's stretchy, but it looks structured. I don't like when jean jackets look stretchy, but I don't like when they're too structured and you can't move. I just don't have a non-cropped oversized denim jacket. I really wanted one and I thought this was perfect and it was on sale, so. So excited about that. I think it's gonna look great over any dress. Perfect transition piece. Everyone needs one of those in their wardrobe. The last dress that I got is something completely out of my comfort zone character, but I just kept being drawn to this dress, you guys. I think it is so pretty, and if you were pregnant, especially with like a baby girl, this would be the dress. I see it all the time on their Instagram. Um, this is just, the sleeves are beautiful, the, like the, smocked detail. I'm not normally a smock detail kind of person on a dress, but I just, this is so pretty. And then the bottom flowy, I think this would be really nice for a nice romantic dinner, um, a vacation when we can go on vacation, uh, pregnancy, baby shower, anything. It is so beautiful, especially for the spring. These little pink flowers just scream springtime to me. I don't know. It was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I just felt very drawn to this dress and I felt like I needed it. So again, I got this in, I think, yeah, a US 4. Um, and I think everything fits pretty true to size. They have the cutest, girliest stuff. I just don't, I'm not typically like that sort of like I'm like Birkenstocks and shorts sort of girl but I was so drawn to that and I said you know what I always feel like I wish I had dresses like that and I always when I need them I go and look for them and never can find what I want so now that I've been when I'm seeing pieces that I like I just get them so I have them when I need them duh what a revolution um and then last but not least i wanted to share with you some fun amazon um fitnessy sort of things because i've been wearing a lot of leggings and stuff from amazon which i've shared in all of my vlogs my favorite amazon dupes for leggings but i wanted to show for like the lululemons but i wanted to show you some spring summer pieces that i purchased as well um i picked up these little shorts uh, these are by the brand crazy yoga i think or sierra z whatever it is these are just like I think they're a four inch or a three inch short. Really like these. Um, good com tummy control. I mean, the, the material's nice. I like them. They were uh, like a fraction of the price of the Lululemons. And I just, I just think they're really nice. So can't be a good athletic short. I got these joggers, which I thought were really nice. I'd seen a lot of influencers talk about how these are similar to a pair of the Lululemons, but I don't know which ones. Um, these are, I can't even say that brand, so I'm not going to. These are very athletic-y sort of material, and at first I was not a fan of them. Um, and I washed them, and then they like kind of shrunk up a little bit, and I really like them now, especially for walks with Winnie. They're really lightweight and nice. Um, and I don't really like to walk in shorts all that much, so I like walking in these, and they fit really freaking nice. And then last but not least, I got a little matching set, which now that I look at it, I feel like it doesn't match. So there's that. But I really like the fit of the shorts. This is very similar to that Gymshark Vital Seamless sort of thing. I'm just like, they feel like you can get good workout clothes. The certain things. Now certain things I'm like total firm believer in, you get what you pay for like 100%, but something like this, I, I'm not gonna wear all the time. Like my black Lululemon leggings, I, I'll pay for the real things because I wear them all the time. I've had them for like five, six years and they still hold up and I firmly believe in that. Um, and if you can't find something that fits and feels exactly the same way, don't waste your money buying dupes. You know what I mean? I don't know. 
But these, I wanted to try it out. It was a good price and I thought this, this green was so pretty. So love the shorts, love the length on them. I feel like it's a really flattering and good length. And then this crop top, I just don't think is the right color. Um, so I might actually return this one, but I recently picked this up so you can get this on Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. So, oh my goodness, that was the longest haul slash favorites I've like ever filmed. The whole reason I started this channel was to share with you guys what I love and what I'm passionate about and what I think is amazing and deals. And I just love that community. Like when you have people that you can be like, girl, where did you get that from? Or girl, let me tell you about this amazing product because there's just so much joy in that of sharing my favorites or things that I love and things that I think everyone should have and that bring me so much joy in materialistic ways, I know, but still I just find a huge joy in sharing my favorites with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, this old fashioned sort of haul and try on and just some of my favorite staple spring products. Let me know um, what you guys are excited about for this spring and let me know what other, like if there's online clothing stores that you think I should try out or if you like hauls, like favorites, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.